wait, wait, wait. Don't start without me. I'm coming, seriously. <sighs> okay, I don't know why I did that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting silly up in here today. I got money, money, money problems. Just bleh. One of the things that I like to do when I am upset is get goofy. So apparently I'm getting goofy today. It is time for the mid-month budget update. How are we doing with the budget? I'm gonna have to look. Hmm. Every dollar. Okay, good, good, good. Not much. Good. Uh oh, we're not doing bad at all. We are way under budget. We paid the basics, all of our debts. We're doing actually pretty dang great, sort of. So at the very end of my what I ate in a week video, I talked about the 4th of July and I put a cute little, little clip of Melina and Mauricio with the bike and some pictures in there. And so really thus far, the only spending that was not budgeted was $20 at Michael's to buy bike decorating supplies. Why? Because I kind of forgot about it. But that's why we have the cushion in there. And so I bought some big ribbon for Melina's bike. I bought a strip of stickers. Oh, and then I got the flags also, the 4th of July flags. So I got ribbon, flags, and um, the stickers. Well, for $20. And that was with a coupon. So, of course, because you never go to Michael's without using a coupon. It's kind of like Hobby Lobby. You just look it up online if you don't have a coupon on hand. And you show them and then they just scan it right in off your phone. I very rarely go to Michael's because I tend to overspend at Michael's. So I was kind of nervous about this one. But I kept strictly to the list and I did great. We got lots and lots and lots of people talking about that we really needed to celebrate our anniversary. And I agreed with that, but I agreed with that only if we had the money. And as you know, we have gotten one month ahead. So at the end of June, by the time I filmed the video, I wasn't hundred percent sure if we were gonna have any extra money and we ended up having extra money. So we did go out and I'm so bummed. I didn't film any of it. I didn't take any pictures, but what we ended up doing is we went to National Harbor and had a seafood dinner and a couple of drinks. And then we went to the casino and we did it all in our budget. We came in exactly where we wanted to come in spending wise, not a cent over. Actually, I think we came in about $10 under. And so that was super fun. And next year will be our 10th anniversary, 10 years. I've been married to this man. That's a long time. At some point soon, we will be discussing if we're going to do anything special for our 10th anniversary. We had really wanted to go back to Hawaii. Mauricio and I had gotten married in Hawaii. And one of these days, if we ever move out and get our stuff out of storage, I will show you some of those videos because we do have a whole wedding video and you will be shocked when you see Mauricio because I have aged the man. Not 10 years. I'm pretty sure I've aged him about 40 years. <laughs> he looked like a child when we got married. So um, we had planned on going back to Hawaii for our 10th anniversary, but I don't know that that's going to be a realistic option for us right now. It's just not with us living at my parents' house and spending, you know, $5,000 on a trip. It's just not smart. No, not going to do it. I'd love to, but maybe, maybe for our 15th. By then we'll be out of debt, I'm sure. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm at the real Wendy Valencia because too many people are named Wendy Valencia in the world. You, you, you'd think not. And the link to that is on my channel banner on my homepage if you would like to follow me on Instagram. If you follow me there, you saw that I was going to flat iron my hair one morning last week and a big flame shot out of the bottom of my flat iron. I don't know what it is with me. This is the third thing, three, that I have had blow up in my hand. The first time it happened was a hair dryer and it actually like gave me second degree burns right across here. And the last time it happened, it was my hair dryer, which I still have not replaced. And then this time with my flat iron, which by the way, it was a Chi flat iron. It wasn't very old. So I am not gonna buy another Chi. They're expensive. What I have discovered is the cheap ones seem to last as long as the expensive ones. So I am gonna go ahead and uh, get another flat iron. 
with some of the Amazon money that we have in the budget. I haven't, we haven't used any of the Amazon money this month. And so I will go ahead and I'm getting one of the cheapest ones I could find. But I will tell you until I do that, my amazing sister-in-law, she saw my post on Instagram and she went ahead and brought me over. She had two flat irons and she said, just use this one until you get another one. And so I've been using her flat iron and Thank you, Louisa. You're awesome. And then the third issue. I don't even want to talk about it. It still makes me mad. Mauricio and I had dentist appointments. We have not gone to the dentist since we moved back to the States 18 months ago. We went to the dentist right before we left Mexico. The reason we have isn't that we didn't have the money or anything like that. It was pure. I didn't want to deal with finding another dentist. That's 100% what it was. Several weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, I got a wild hair and I decided I was going to find new doctors and dentists for everyone. So Mauricio went to the dermatologist, then I went to the dermatologist. We both had dentist appointments and I finally got an annual checkup. So we go, I had my appointment at eight, Mauricio had his appointment at nine. And at the end of my appointment, the dentist came in and she said that I had a cavity. Okay, I can deal with that. She showed me the cavity okay, I can deal with that. She said it's going to be deep. Okay, I can deal with that. My luck, it'll mean a root canal. Okay, I can deal with that. Then she told me that the crown the dentist put on in Mexico is not put on properly. And legitimately, the dentist was having major issues putting that crown on because it's a long, complicated story. So she wants to take that off. So she gives me the estimate, the low guesstimate for my dental work was, and this is the low guesstimate, was $2,500. Yeah. Okay, folks, I don't want to spend $2,500 on a dentist. So I asked her, I said, listen, I don't have dental insurance. While we were in Mexico, we had it. It didn't serve us anything down there because we could never get anything covered. So we canceled it and I have not gotten around to getting new dental insurance. How much of this can wait? And she said, the filling cannot wait. It's too close to the root. If you wait too long, you're gonna have to have a root canal. You may have to have a root canal as it is, but for right now, you, you could potentially just have it filled. So we need to get that in the next week or two. The other stuff, I told her, I'm sorry, I don't have any pain associated with it. I'm sorry if it's not working well, but I have a feeling when you take it off, you're gonna have to give me an implant. I'm not letting you touch that. <laughs> So I told her that I was gonna be getting dental insurance in December when it's open season. And once I had dental insurance, then we could go ahead and take care of the dental work. Then Mauricio had his appointment. The low estimate for all of the things that Mauricio needs done is $7,000. Hmm. So we are now talking $10,000 of dental work. I basically told the dentist, yeah, we're not doing that until I have dental insurance. <sighs> I think that we'll be definitely beefing up the medical sinking fund for January. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And this video up here, is it this video? This video. This video up here is my latest one. And this video here is one that YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.